Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jocelyn. For those that are new to my channel and don't know who I am. I'm 19 years old. I'm a pharmacy technician at CVS. And as you can guess from the title, today is going to be me speaking about my experience as a pharmacy technician at CVS. Now, oh, by the way, I still need to work on making my intro. I haven't been working on that at all. I've been kind of lazy just because... There's a certain way I want to do it, but, like, I don't know what I want to do. Like, there's so many ideas. We're going to be talking about my experience at CVS. Now, I've always wanted to work at CVS or Walgreens, but I've always found that it's a very tough, tough, tough company to, like, work for. Like, it's, like, it's kind of the same thing with Target, I feel like. Like, I don't know um, if it's for everyone, but I feel like a lot of targets, especially in my area, they be firing people left and right and then hiring mad people. But it's like when you actually like, cause I had an interview to, for Target, I was really surprised. But I did my interview and I feel like I did really good. But they told me that, you know, um, they're looking for specific candidates and I just wasn't the one that they wanted um, for, for them to work for their company so i was like whatever it is what it is but then that's the time when i started working for kohl's and i was surprised that i worked there well i got hired by bless by blessing of god because that was around the time where i was struggling to get a job and i was really applying to places and calling non-stop like i was really struggling and it was during the pandemic too like the big like literally the beginning in the middle of it so it's like it was tough for me to find a job and I had just graduated high school. I'm a college graduate and it, it was really hard for me to get a job. So, um, Kohl's didn't really work out for me so much. Um, I was seasonal and I just didn't, I actually it never ended up going back. I just didn't like the environment. It wasn't the best. It was very toxic and I just didn't like how they treated people. I felt like it was really disrespectful. And I felt like a lot of the managers and the supervisors there were scared of certain employees. And it's just like, you're the boss and they're bossing you around. Yeah, um, no. And it's like other employees try to boss around other, you know, employees. I'm like, bro, first of all, you're an employee. You're not a manager. You're not a supervisor. So the fact that you're trying to run supervisors, managers in the store and they're allowing you to do it is very crazy to me because... I've never seen anyone, not even managers, supervisors, let an employee talk to them a certain way and run them and make them feel like they're the boss and not them. Like I was hired um, for um, CVS as a pharmacy technician. When I actually got the call, it was really random. Like I was really surprised they wanted to schedule an interview with me, to be honest. And I honestly really thought to be a pharmacy technician, I had to be certified. But he's like, the guy that was, you know, chit-chatting with me, wanting to get to know me and all that stuff, all that jazz over the phone. He really liked me, loved my energy and really wanted to hire me. And he was like, a lot of people tend to think that you need to be certified to be a pharmacy tech, but you really don't, honestly. You don't need to have any experience. We give you all the training and, you know, we work from there. So I was like, okay, cool. I never knew that. That's a really good to know. And I low-key have always wanted to be a pharmacy technician because... I don't know if you guys see those type of videos of like pharmacy techs counting pills and like, I don't know, I, it's just satisfying to watch. So me being able to do that myself, I'm like, it, it gets me really hype and it's a bit satisfying. Like I enjoy doing it. And if I could do it all day, I low-key would. But um, yeah, um, I wrote down a few things that I'm going to talk about in this video that I highlighted. Um, so we're just going to go down like in order. For my orientation um it was virtual it was like through the laptop so the pharmacy that's near my house i don't work at that pharmacy i work at um a different one in downtown in my area so it's in a very busy um spot where there's like a casino many business buildings up there and a lot of hotels especially the casino the casino is very busy and it's very like it's a lot of traffic where i work and a lot of people go there so it's always always packed but i went for my orientation at the pharmacy near my house and um it was pretty chill like i actually liked the orientation it was really chill um it was cool to really have everyone come in from the computer you know getting to know everyone from all around the world 
and it was actually really fun. I actually enjoy doing the virtual like classes, especially when I did some of the modules, but we'll get to that soon. Um, yeah, being on the computer is really cool and I actually liked the environment of the pharmacy near my house. I thought everyone was really chill, really cool. It's very organized, very clean and you know, people are really nice. So before I did anything like on the floor, they had me on the computer for, I'll say for a couple weeks. Um, excuse me. I even did some modules from home because I asked if I could. Because I was taking the bus. I don't have a car. So my mom doesn't have a working car right now. So she's just trying to fix it. So otherwise I would have been able to go over there on the computer to do training. But I did text the store manager and she was very understanding, very sweet. She was like, yeah, of course. You know, I just go in, do what I have to do. So that way you're able to do it from home. And, um, since we pay you for you know training i'll pay you um in the next two weeks um since you know all the work that you're doing it's our training so we do give you paid training so i thought that was really cool and um so far like when i was on the computer there was a lot of reading like if you guys work at cvs or have been a technician in the past there's a lot of modules. Even if you're not going to be like a pharmacy tech, like there's so many modules. Like there was a lot of new people who were not working for CVS, well, were working for CVS, um, that were working in the front of the store, not in the pharmacy or whatever. They were just regular employees at CVS and they read so much stuff. Like there's so much stuff you have to read, videos, a lot of tests. For me with um, the whole modules for all the sections that they make you do for pharmacy tech it's a lot and it's a lot of reading my head would hurt a lot but my my manager was really nice so she was like whenever you want to leave and you feel like your eyes are hurting from looking at the screen all day just let me know and it's perfectly fine and we could schedule for you to do more modules and i was like okay cool and i would take a lot of tests they were very irritating because i had to keep taking them keep taking them keep taking them taking some <laughs> keep taking them until i got it right it was nice to learn a lot of the information that is provided in the modules. It's pretty informative. A lot of the stuff, I'm going to be honest, like, I know they don't expect you to remember all the stuff that you learn from your modules. But I'm like, bro, how the fuck am I going to remember this shit? Because this is just a lot of information that's kind of being, like, thrown at you. And um, I kind of low-key wish I brought a notebook so I can, like, write things down. But um, I didn't that's one one of my one one big regrets is i should have but um even when i'm in the pharmacy when i did some modules inside the pharmacy um because there was times that i wasn't able to go in the manager's office because someone else was doing modules so i couldn't um so i would do modules in the pharmacy sometimes it was pretty distracting just because there's the calls ringing there's it's just a lot and um i can't like focus and do modules or do anything that's on the computer that involves me just having to focus and take some tests look at videos i can't do that in like a setting behind me where it's so loud like it's just like distracting sometimes i felt like um i lost what i already read like i forgot what i already read i'm like uh i'm not gonna remember this but there's a little bit of stuff that i've remembered from doing those modules but over, but um other than that like the modules are very informative and um it's a lot it's a lot and we still have to take them every once in a while um yeah so um modules are really important for us to complete so if we don't complete them it's like it's a big issue um i forgot what the pharmacy manager told me it's like kind of a big issue and it's important to get those done so um next i'm going to talk about when i started going on the floor so when i started doing on the floor training they put me at pickup station so at my pharmacy we have production drop off and pickup we don't have a drive through um just because um that cvs that they made in downtown it's new and they didn't build a um a drive through so um i thought that was weird because i felt like every pharmacy has a drive through but ours don't um we just have production drop off and pickup um i worked at pickup it's really really easy since i've i have experience at working at retail i feel like it's kind of the same concept you're greeting customers it's so easy i picked it up really quickly um it's it's really simple it's really easy it was very self-explanatory it wasn't hard at all so um working at pickup was no problem for me i worked for worked on pickup for 
I felt like almost a month I was just at pickup just training there only for a month there there were other new two hire um hires two new employees that they hired as well aside from myself um a lot of them did the pickup training a lot of them were already in production you know they were making medicine they were pulling out medications you know all that stuff i was you know at pickup for probably almost a month until they actually they actually were willing to be like hey let's just put you at drop off and like let's get you started there now i know that with every cv i'm not sure because you know there's so many things i'm learning from um at cvs and like their protocols and all that stuff their guidelines and all that um i guess there's supposed to be a trainer there who is like supposed to train you especially new people when it comes to production and drop off and honestly my pharmacy manager she had to train me a little bit she couldn't really you know say much she tried to you know train me as little as she could um just because the person that was supposed to do a lot of the production training the drop-off training she was on maternity leave and it's been almost four months already and you know i've overheard that you know her story keeps changing and it's always extended i don't know what's going on with that but um, the pharmacist had to teach me a little bit here and there. You know, pharmacists have duties just like pharmacy techs. So she did have to do a lot of shots, a lot of calling or, you know, doing certain things, you know, that she had to do as her duties as a pharmacist. So um, I couldn't really learn much. I just kind of had to learn as I go. Um, I still am learning as I'm, I'm going, but I still feel like I'm not learning as much. But we'll get we'll get to that because girl, <laughs> a hang of production pretty quick like it was pretty simple but there's certain things i still need to learn and i'm not really like confident about it because i still have to learn and i don't really know much and then picking up the phone is pretty easy i kind of like to think of it as you know it's basically customer service you know a lot of patients are going to ask you like hey um i just want to make sure is are these prescriptions are ready or whatever whatever sometimes doctors offices will call you you'll have to you know transfer them to the pharmacist um just that was pretty simple was there was nothing really hard about picking up the phone it was a little bit intimidating at first i feel like the phone is always pretty intimidating like picking up the phone but it was really simple and i had no problem doing it for to me learning a bit of drop off honestly i'm not really confident at drop off i feel like i just don't know what i'm doing um the pharmacist she was teaching me a little bit because she was resigning and she was gonna you know i think work from home or something um so she was trying to take her three weeks that she had left to train people and that's what she was just focusing on was training people she wanted to train me at drop off just because she wanted us to at least know or get an idea of what we should do um i feel like i wasn't focused i was going through a lot i had too much on my head a lot of personal problems um going on and i really was just in a headspace where i wasn't in work mode i wasn't like okay let's focus let's get this you know going let's make sure we know some of these things um that way we can take mental note of it i could not focus for the life of me for the past two or three days she was teaching me before because the week that she was teaching me was her you know last week so the three days i was working um there in that week um she was scheduled to work the same day as me and she was teaching me a little bit but i couldn't focus i, I couldn't focus and um she i remember her asking like do you kind of get it just i'm like honestly with so much going on i feel like i'm kind of still lost um there's certain things i remember and you know I feel like this is something I'm probably going to have to, you know, get a lot of help on just because I only know so much and it's just too much. And um, I, I'm just mentally, I'm not really focused right now. And I just have to be honest. She was very understanding. She's like, I totally get it. Like, don't worry. You're not expected to learn everything. So don't feel too pressured. Or to when a lady, you know, she, I guess, teaches classes or whatever um, for a lot of new pharmacy texts, you know, teaching them a lot of... Um, the different workstations and all that stuff um she saw me while i was doing pickup she corrected me on certain things that not even when i was getting taught 
on the on like on on the floor training I wasn't even told that so there was new things that I learned that I didn't even know and she explained it to me um I guess a lot of guidelines and protocols have changed um for like the pharmacy and I barely know like half the things that they've changed only a little bit um based on what the lady was saying but um yeah she was telling me that um um uh, when it comes to production when she was teaching me on production there's certain lines you got to follow um you have to start on certain things first you got to go down you got to go in order so i didn't really get taught that and there's a lot of abbreviations like um sn which is slot assignment to change like um the slot for um the um where um the bag is gonna go in the little cubbies because they always get like assigned numbers that you have to put in that assigned bin so i didn't know that until i got taught that but there's so much more other stuff that i don't know <laughs> that i'm still learning and they're, they're supposed to be a trainer there, like i said but she's on maternity leave so it's like a lot of us are just figuring out on our own and i feel like I get frustrated and a lot of the, the pharmacists get frustrated a bit too because, you know, I'm kind of stopping people's workflow. I'm stopping the workflow and we always got to keep it going because we'll be behind. But it's like we haven't been getting properly trained. So it's a bit frustrating for me too because it's like I really truly am trying to like learn and I'm trying to get it. But it's like a lot of the times they do it for me instead of correcting me. And I'm like, I can't learn like that. You have to show me visually than just tell me because you can't just tell me, oh, this and that and then not show me because, you know, how am I going to learn? The way I learn is that you need to, you know, visually tell me I need to see it visually and then you have to, you know, explain it to me a bit. And that way I'm able to learn. I'm able to retain it. But um, that wasn't, you know done like yeah there's a few employees that will help me actually show me and correct me which i do appreciate it but sometimes you know they'll do it for me instead of really you know explaining to me you know what i mean and sometimes with me i have to get things explained to me so many times for me to get it like it's it's annoying for probably a lot of people who are teaching but you know I'm, i need help like i can't i'm not one of those people that learn things right off the bat you know i need it explained a bit like a few times and I, I need to keep doing it a few times for me to even like really like grasp it and remember so when i'm at drop off calling um insurance you know i don't know what to do <laughs> i don't know what to say like yeah if they ask for um the bin or whatever i don't do that but if they ask me oh um go on the computer do this and that like i'm just like i barely even know the system off the top of my dome <laughs> i'm still learning and i'm basically you know try i do it on my own first but i get frustrated because it's like i'm trying you can see that I'm trying, I'm doing it, okay, I remember this and that. Like, I'm doing it, I'm trying, but if they see that I'm struggling, like, with me, I'm very independent. I am very stubborn, and sometimes I'm like, oh, you need help, girl. You need help, because it's gonna get, you're gonna get this done faster if you get help. So, I'm very stubborn, and I'm very independent, because, you know, I want to do it on my own. I don't want to have to constantly nag someone and be like, help me, please. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I knew, but I don't. So, you know, I feel like I'm annoying, but I know they're there to help, but it's just like, I wish, you know, someone can take the time to really train me. So that way I'm confident in a lot of the things I'm learning. There's so much stuff that I barely have gotten yet to learn. And I just feel like it's very stressful for me because a lot of the um, customers are rude. They're like, oh, she don't know what she's doing. Come help her. But I'm like, I'm, I have, I'm trying, you know what I mean? And I feel like, um people aren't really properly training um a lot of new technicians at my job like they're supposed to so it is frustrating i've overheard you know pharmacists complaining especially the pharmacists that left like she was complaining how you know she doesn't like the changes and how they're treating people it's just like it's just it's uh, it's frustrating because how are these you know new techs supposed to get proper training if no one's really willing to come in the store and train you know the environment is like <laughs> It's pretty chill at my job. I like the people there. Um, it's pretty chill. There's not much to really say, but it's pretty chill. It does get frustrating sometimes because you're like back and forth, very fast paced. So you got to get with the flow of things, get the hang of it. And sometimes it's really overwhelming. And sometimes I feel like I want to quit. And then you encounter customers that are really, really, really bitchy. And they're like, oh, 
but um why is it on hold or um what do you mean it's it's already like past 15 minutes you said you guys it was gonna be ready um in 15 minutes or um oh my god you lost my medication like you guys need to be more organized or um they'll say oh there was one lady she was my first ever um bitchy customer that yelled at me she was like what are you dumb were you stupid she said that to me and i was like and i was i was really heated i wanted to i had to stay calm but she was like saying oh you that's stupid you don't go to have a drive we have to come in here with all this covid stuff oh you guys don't sanitize um we do and our pharmacy we do prioritize sanitizing so it's like she was like no you guys don't because the person before me was touching this and that and i'm just like I was just really like I had to keep calm. I had to keep calm. I had to keep calm. But um there's a lot of Spanish people that come in my store. I speak a bit Spanish. I'm Puerto Rican, so my Spanish kind of ugh, okay? But I try. You know what I mean? Like it's not the best. But I know enough to get like survive. So, um I try my best. And if someone if I feel like I'm getting frustrated and I don't know how to say certain things in Spanish, I get another girl that works there that speaks Spanish to help me because sometimes i begin frustrated a little bit and i'm just like fuck i don't know how to say that i forgot how to say that or something so especially there's a lot of white people that work at my job so they don't they always rely on a lot of us that speak spanish so there's only so much i could do especially if i'm the only one i get fucked because i'm like, like fuck i'm like hold on let me use google translate i always use that all the time just to make sure they understand like what i'm saying I feel like this job has taught me a lot of patience because I have to be patient. And when I want to spaz, I have to bite my tongue because a lot of people get very disrespectful at my job. And a lot of crazy things has happened. Like, I've had someone, there's a lot of people who tried to rob, came in with a gun. Um, a lot of people who would threaten a lot of us. A lot of people who would um, steal right in front of us. And there's just a lot of crazy things that's happened. Just, you know, hard work ethic. You know, really pushing you to your limits and knowing what you can take and what you can't take. So, um, this job has really taught me a lot. But I feel like hard work ethic is very, like, important. So, I feel like that job has taught me a lot about that impatience. Um, the benefits I feel like working at CVS would be um, just the opportunities that you can get. Because you can literally, you know, be national certified and, you know, you can actually start working in hospitals. And so I feel like I haven't thrive there fully like i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm trying to learn how to thrive there but um it's really hard especially since i kind of like i'm like kind of teaching myself like i'm not really being trained like properly so it's like i'm kind of on my own sometimes and sometimes i kind of have no choice but to people but put, but put people on hold sometimes i have no choice but to you know do certain things um that way you know, someone else can help them because if I can't and, you know, everyone else is busy, I kind of have to, you know, explain to the customer like, hey, I'm new here. I'm really trying my best, but you're going to have to wait for a few minutes until someone gets off the phone because there's really nothing I can do. And I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm not really being trained. Um, so, you know, please bear with me. But I feel kind of in the middle working there. Like, I feel like I like it. I love the energy. I enjoy working there i just feel like where i'm at i'm just frustrated with you know the whole training thing because i feel like i'm kind of on my own you know what i mean and i feel like it shouldn't have to be like that and sometimes when i ask for help you know um sometimes they do it for me instead of like correcting me yeah they correct me but a lot of times they do it for me i'm like i would rather do it while you correct me you know what i mean that's what my manager did you know that's how i learned certain things that she's taught me um, and then um, some of the positive sides just working at pharmacy, basically what I said on um, what this job taught me, like a lot of patients, um, worth, e worth ethic, you know, meeting, meeting great, amazing new people, connecting with, um, you know, customers. If you're not really experienced with customer service, it's a great way to get that experience. If you're not really familiar with, you know, talking out anyone over the phone, you know, helping them. Um, over the phone with certain things it's it's a great way to have that kind of experience too over the phone and um you know being on the computer there's a lot of data entry that you do too so it's also a great you know 
um, experience for that if you want to get into, you know, some kind of data entry jobs, you know. So there's so many positive sides to it. And negative sides, I mean, I feel like we don't get paid enough. I feel like we don't get paid enough for all the stuff that we do because we're basically like the backbone for the pharmacists because we do a lot of stuff. And I feel like we're just so underpaid. It's like, I feel like it's not fair. But um, I feel like with a lot of the customers we deal with and them threatening us, and there's been a lot of people who came in with guns. And it's just like, we go through all of this. And it's just like, a lot, a lot of them, who's to say one person actually won't do it? You know what I mean? You don't know if one person with a gun will actually do it and shoot up the place. You know what I mean? So it's like, we go through a lot. We deal with a lot, a lot of bashing and pharmacists go through that too. But it's just like, we do so much stuff for the pharmacists. It's like, we're basically like their backbone because without technicians, you know, you know, how would the pharmacy thrive? You know what I mean? Um, yeah, this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you get a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and thank you for supporting. Bye.